I love making this fish cookbook. I really do. There's so many great things that you can do with fish. Fish love bread and pastries, which is why I'm making a Portuguese bread soup with my favorite fish in the world, black cod. It's so moist when you cook it. I'm connected to this fish. This fish is in my DNA. I'm just gonna start in my pan with some leeks. Leek is one of my favorite. It's like a, the transformer of food. It starts off kind of harsh, but as it and then it turns into this soft, beautiful, light onion flavor. I love this little contraption. It's a mortar and pestle, and it's great for crushing things up and getting good flavor. I'm gonna use coriander. It's got this brilliant smell to it, and a little bit of peppercorns, nice, sharp, and peppery. Just gonna put a few garlic cloves in there, and I get to bash it up. It's gonna be fun. And this Portuguese-style soup has a lot of tomato in it. Crushed coriander and tomato, they're like Starsky and Hutch, man. They're best friends. They got sick cars and really great hair. And look at that paste. Delicious. I'm gonna push my leeks just to the back of the pan, and I'm gonna put the coriander, the peppercorns, and the garlic in the empty spot, because I want them to toast up. They're gonna give so much flavor to this soup. <sighs> Already, man, like a freight train to the senses. It's so good, it warms the soul. Field tomatoes or beefsteak tomatoes are great for this, because they have a lot of natural juice, and that's gonna be the base of the soup. And then I'm just gonna add a bit of water to it, let it cook down. That water is gonna drink up. From the peppercorns and the coriander and the leeks and the tomatoes, it's really gonna do wonders. You just have to have a little patience. I just wanna pulse up the tomatoes after they've been cooked. You can do this in blender if you have one. I'm using my lightsaber. Okay, this is looking really great, and it's the perfect thickness. Wow! Yes! So simple, so flavorful, and as soon as you crush up those coriander seeds a bit, money in the pot. Works as a great thickening agent right into your soup, and it just soaks up a ton of flavor. Now for the black cod. And you could have used fish stock if you wanted instead of water, but this has so much flavor to give. And because I'm cooking it raw in the sauce, not only is it gonna help the sauce, but the sauce is gonna complement the fish. And you can go right into your soup. And here's another tip. That bread and the fish are gonna soak up a lot of salt, so I just wanna give it a little kiss. Just warm it up when the cod is cooked. You're almost ready to eat. Chorizo sausage. The pork fat goes so well in this soup. And I use an already cooked chorizo, so it's just a matter of warming it up and letting that fat dissolve into the soup. The fish is starting to cook. We're so close. The aroma of cilantro is so unique and adds so much punch to this soup. And look at the bread, it's done such a good job of thickening it up. That smells intoxicating, it really is. The black cod does so much for the soup once you get it in there and get it cooking. It releases its natural fat and all of its goodness, the tomatoes and coriander. It's a winner. Just a little bit of olive oil. That feels like a hearty Canadian dish, and I have to try it. Oh, nice piece of black cod. The taste of the coriander seed and tomato are magical. It kind of warms your mouth, but it's silky smooth because of the fat in the black cod. That fish is one of my favorite. 